Hello everybody. In the last tutorial, we completed our add to cart functionality. That is, when you add items into cart, then you can see your cart there. And this time, we will manage our cart. That is, increase our items, decrease our items, or remove our items. Okay. So let's proceed. To handle increase, decrease, and remove item in the cart, I'm handling it using only one view. I want to make it manage test cart slash and um, manage cart view dot is underscore view and the URL name will be manage cart. Okay, you can write whatever you want here, but I'm writing manage cart here and uh, I want to make this view. Let's go below the add to cart. Okay, plus manage cart mm, in manage cart i want to implement template view and uh, you can just write view here okay just write view here uh, or you can write template view uh, in case we write view i think i have not uh, imported it yet so i want to import it as view from Django.views.generic and then I'm using it mm, to use view method we have to write and get method here self request args and quirks okay and uh, return I want to redirect I redirect it in my redirect it in my uh, which page card page okay uh, ecom app colon my cart okay now if you do this then uh, you don't need when you use redirect here you don't need to uh, response attempt it okay but here redirect is not defined i want to import it from django dot shortcuts import render and i want to import redirect here and let's go to our view let's write print and this is manage cart section okay so let's use that url here in my card view here are manage card buttons plus minus and cross okay so let's provide url here url mm, ecom app colon manage okay also i want to provide a keyword argument here that is cp underscore id okay i want to make it integer type integer type like this cp underscore id and uh, if i go here um, we have to provide our card product object id okay cp underscore id cp is the variable name here for card product and id also i want to uh, provide this url pattern to all of the url also uh, another thing that i want to do is i want to do, i want to add parameter params here url params here uh, which is named as action and i want to provide inc here okay inc for increase similar thing i want to do here i want to write here dcr okay dcr means decrease and here rmb rmb means remove okay let's try this url and also let's fetch uh, um, let's fetch uh, uh, id cp underscore id equals to self request dot for no 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 self dot quarks okay self dot quarks and uh, what variable here cp underscore id so i want to provide it here and after that after that i want to get the action parameter okay ACTI on action equals to um, action is a ur action is a url params okay so we can it is uh, object by uh, get method uh, 
request.get get a CTIR action okay let's print them to uh, CPID and action let's print them let's print them to check whether they are working or not so let's refresh it everything is working fine let's refresh it and if I click here if I click here I am redirected to the same page and if you see the console this is manage card section you can clearly see that this is manage card section and here 6 and INC 6 is the card product ID and INC is the increased uh, increase action okay we have grabbed that too if I press this minus then you can clearly see that this is 7 and this here okay so um, there may be few cases here if ACTI and actions equal to equals to IMC increase and we want to pass for now L if action equals to equals to DCR pass for now and L if action equals to equals to RMP then pass we'll write code here after some time and else uh, pass okay there are four conditions here so let's make increase condition first okay we we already got cpid from that cpid we can get uh, i want to uh, remove this print statement from here and i want to get the cp ob object okay cp object is card product dot objects that get id id equals to cp underscore id also from c card product object you can see that card product card product object contains a card so if we need a card card the, if we need a card then uh, card equals to cp underscore obj cp underscore obj dot crt you can get it um, like this or you can get it from the session okay from the session how can you get it first of all import card id from the session mm -hmm. Uh, card ID equals to self dot request not self here is request parameter itself okay so request dot session dot get I think session we have stored our uh, we have stored our card ID in session in, in this variable okay and you can do non here non here and if cart id if cart id cart equals to cart dot ob objects dot get id equals to cart id okay you can fetch cart like this okay and uh, you can also do if you can also do if uh, you can also cross check if cart is not equal to this cart1 is not equal to cart2 ok let's make it cart2 variable cart1 is not equal to cart2 variable then return redirect to our my com f colon my cart ok but this will not do anything if cart id else okay in its else condition in its else condition you can do like this every time it redirects to that page but uh, it's uh, for this time it's unnecessary and it's adding complexity in our project okay i want to remove them all i want to rename it as cart and uh, cart underscore obj more correctly uh, cart underscore obj okay so let's uh, uh, <coughs> implement logic in increment increase okay so whenever user in increase the item what should happen first of all quantity should be increased uh, cp object dot quantity plus equals to one then cp object dot subtotal should also be increased with the what cp object dot rate and cp object should be saved and also while increasing the item 
what should we do we have to uh, increase the card value okay card object dot uh, total plus equals to cp object dot rate okay and we have to save it let's save okay simple logic and let's check it whether it's working or not mm, we have just implemented an increase uh, logic so let's move to our page let's increase it okay mm, there is currently one quantity here one item and let's increase it okay you can see that 58,000 mm, and quantity is increased to 2 and the subtotal value is also increased and uh, you can see that the total value is also increased so it's working fine and let's uh, uh, before we do uh, do something in decrease logic we implement remove logic okay so to remove item what should we do is to first of all uh, to remove item let's uh, decrease the card object the total value uh, minus equal minus uh, equals to uh, cp object dot subtotal okay while removing the while removing the cp object we have to we have to first uh, uh, subtract the total the subtotal of that ca uh, card pro subtotal i mean we have to subtract this value from this okay before deleting the item so after that what should we do is to save the card value and after that we have to uh, delete this object okay so let's check it and let's check remove logic and if i remove this if i remove this no card matching query does not exist card matching query does not exist that is Mm, what happened let's see i think in the remove statement in the sorry 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 uh, we have deleted card object we want to delete cp object okay cp object dot delete i want to delete i want to delete only this row oh, this is not working now what should i do is first of all clear the session clear the cookies let's go to cookies go to our ip address and let's clear all of the things okay let's refresh our page we we do not have any items here i want to add this laptop i want to add this blazer and another thing i want to do okay let's increase this item it's working fine 58,000 plus 8,000 equals to 66,000 now if i want to remove this 8000 so let's remove it now total price is 58000 and the item is removed okay so it's working fine i uh, mistakenly deleted card object in the previous checking and uh, now i adjusted that okay so let's uh, go to the remove logic okay so uh, a increasing and uh, decreasing uh, increasing and decreasing logic is similar that means C cp object dot quantity should be decreased by one and cp object dot, to so dot subtotal should also be decreased by the cp object dot uh, rate and also we have to save cp object okay cp object dot save after that we also want to in, in decrease cart object dot total with what cp object dot rate and we want to save cart object dot save okay but there is another condition missing here if uh, while decreasing the item if cp object dot uh, quantity is less than and equal to zero if this condition becomes that means you can clearly see that let's uh, comment it out for some time okay let's comment it this code out you can see that let's add another product here let's go to this product view cart and if i increase it it's working now if i decrease this item if i decrease this item mm, you can clearly see that quantity is zero and subtotal is zero so here the 
every calculation is correct but quantity zero showing items when its quantity zero is not um, does not make sense so i want to implement logic here if cp dot quantity is less than and equal to zero then we uh, so we don't have to implement less than and equal to zero we don't just have to uh, increment equal to zero then what should we do we should delete the cp object okay we should delete the cp object like this okay so let's uh, uh, refresh it okay now let's increase its item first so that no error occurs in our code let's go to our view card so if i decrease the item then it's gone and every our calculation is right okay so manage cart is also working fine increasing cart decreasing item and removing item all working fine so i think it's simple and uh, for revision let's go to our my cart page there is a manage cart link which is uh, demanding a, a dynamic ID which is the ID of the cart product object okay from where we can get cart product and this is included in the URL pattern is integer type and the uh, key is CP underscore ID from where we can get our CP ID okay to get uh, dynamic um, ID dynamic ID from URL you have to use self dot quarks okay and uh, I have sent another mm, URL parameters you can clearly see that uh, there is a word symbol this is a get request uh, th this this will be sent as a parameter and we can get it using get request you can clearly see here request dot get we are using get request mm, we are not using post request here we are using get request and this can be done in every get method okay that is get or we can use it in our get context data method which is also get method and uh, action is uh, achieved from that action may be inc dcr and rmp and if uh, uh, on in other condition we are sending pass statement here and this is manage card and logic is very simple you can uh, visualize it and if you have any confusion you can ask me in the comment and I'll be happy to answer you. Thanks for watching.